And as the world marked the World Food Day yesterday, our reporter Mary Chinda takes a look at food poisoning and poor food hygiene in the Nigerian markets. It's the 2019 World Food Day. According to the World Health Organization, an estimated 600 million persons fall ill after eating contaminated food every year. The Nehru Market in Lagos, Nigeria. Every day, scores of Nigerians troop into the market to buy foodstuff, from meat to rice to beans and to vegetables. But the question really is not about the food. The question is, how hygienic are the foodstuff that we buy from the markets? You see maybe an open area where people sell things and it's being infested with flies and you still have to buy that stuff. For the idea of eating outside, for me it's not advisable. Because most restaurants you go and eat now, you will see different kind of things in restaurants. Even the other day I was eating inside this market. I saw go go inside my food. I left the food, woman was like, ah, she gone, she, she give me another one. I said, no, I'm not eating no. The butcher side is, is absolutely dirty. Like the environment is so dirty. I think that, that those places have more flies. These tomato and meat vendors share how they try to ensure that the food items they sell are safe for consumption. When we buy the tomato in basket, when we carry it to the shop, we will separate the bad ones, we separate the good ones, then we buy the pump water, we pour it inside one rubber, and then pour the fine one inside, and use the water to raise it so that it will be fine. Our meat is clean now, I go say meat with the tea now. It's offense. Not that get cancer for you, get to day, then go look at our market before I begin selling. So if you get any sickness, then go arrest the person. The court can do a local government, they can take our market before they start to scotch it to pieces. Unsafe food containing harmful bacteria, parasites and chemical substances causes more than 200 diseases, ranging from diarrhea to cancers. Adironke Oldushaye, a holistic health practitioner, cautions against the use of chemicals for food preservation. Food sellers, you know, spray um, our foods with chemicals to, you know, to keep them intact, to look good, um, in the bid to ward off, you know, insects and all that. So case in study is our beans and um, stockfish, which we generally call okuoko. You know, they, 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 they spray them with um, this um, sniper chemical, you understand, and, and people unknowingly buy them. What tips are there to guard against food poisoning? For vegetables, just the same way, you know, I spoke about using salt to wash your meat. You could soak your veggies in salty water. Another thing that people can do when they buy their veggies from the market is, and this also, when I say veggies now, I'm, I'm talking vegetables and fruits, is to soak them in um, apple cider vinegar. You know, so like a two, like two cup full of apple cider vinegar in a bowl of water and then just immerse your fruits, immerse your vegetables in them. Five minutes, throw away the water, cook your vegetables, eat your fruit, or you put them in the fridge, whatever you want to do with them. So these are very, very safe um, options. What tips are there to guard against food poisoning? Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.